And we're 1954, back. painted by the famed Magman of Hague. Remco we don't have time for this. I am Groot. Grot. No. No. Shut up. Stop proving me wrong when I'm wrong. You're making me look inaccurate. Hey, get, get in there. Get in there. I'll alarm you, but we have lost sight of Stable. How? How do you lose sight of that <laughs> fucker? <laughs> Follow the red man. Follow the red. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. Ah, free stores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's the end of it. All the way to the oh, not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger. Knocked you off the side of a 30 story building and you had to climb all the way back up to the terrible part. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar pot, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing. Uh, it's made of marshmallow, it's you plebeian. Building. I don't even know what that means. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. <laughs> Oh joy, yes, of course. You mean less than one, then sure we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was breaking? No sweat, kid, we've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? These are fun guys. <laughs> Oh god. I'm no. going to eat you. You will die by my hand before this day is out. Oh god. He's blowing marshmallow minions. Ow! I want a whole bunch of fucking white shit on you. I mean, aside from that thing, this is actually a really cool sequence. Ow! My eyeball! I'm gonna get you for- Oh, I'm so mad! <laughs> oh, my first day in the big city! <laughs> oh god, you, you gave him a little Hitler mustache! <laughs> <laughs> well, he wants to kill anybody that's not him. Why, Nate? Why? Oh, I love how he gets that sleepy look on his face. Sleepy sheepy. That's what I am. Oh, oh I need a little nap nap. I'm coming, Elizabeth! He came. <laughs> See, his hat's not part of him. Oh, can I get it? Oh. Damn it. Looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. I haven't seen this much white sprayed over the town since they took out the le the red light district. <laughs> well, <laughs> timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. <laughs> Good news, guys! I'm actually here. <laughs> I guess I owe you guys my life. Oh man! Oh, there's his hat. You trying to put the moves on her, Ray? So far, just another Ray never really goes for anyone. Never does Winston. You think they're you know, fucking? I never no. Face, the test of all the rest of that. 
I, I mean, technically, Ray does get blown by a ghost, now. but... You give me this. He's waiting for that ghost yeah. to come back. My name's well, in the cut of the movie, it's, uh... It's like, you know, a dream sequence, but it's a deleted scene where they where there was, like, trouble at the history museum. And they're trying to, like, draw it out or something, and then the ghost blows him. And you met him, and the rookie dude goes, hey, hola. It's called arcing, a large pulse of I'm not allowed to speak yet. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. Why are his eyes different colors? Because heterochromia. Does the real Dan Aykroyd have that? No. It's a temporary office while well, I'm in town. I came I don't think so. After I... Shit, we gotta look that up when we finish this episode. I'm looking up right now. We got four minutes. It's a cutscene. Here's an easy one. Would you like to handle that? Mexican? Japanese? Dan. At that time, you almost went 45 acroid. seconds without saying something ablasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that, is not, that, that is not a very flattering picture. Mm. Maybe he does, I don't know. Wait, is that the toaster? Oh my god, it's the toaster. Yeah, every artifact you bring uh, is coming here. But you know why the toaster's there? Because right. in Ghostbusters 2, that's where they had the toaster, and they put in the goo and made it dance. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's that building. Where's that action figure of Stay Puffed? It's around. They're scattered all over. See, the uh, the, the ghost phone is right there. Oh, no. It's glowing. Batman needs us to the Batmobile. <laughs> Rookie. It's not the back. I'm, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. Yeah, but any... uh. Like like that painting up there? He's got that. Oh god. Yep. Creepy. You got Vigo. Keep talking to Vigo. Learn what? funny Hello. things from Vigo. What do you want? The Demons demon in this realm are gathering to conquer. You have not a chance. You have not a chance. Keep talking. Don't you know me? I am Prince Vigo von Humboldt Deutschendorf. Judgment. Keep talking, he says funny things. Oh, it won't be necessary to pull the Nobody <laughs> ever listens to me. You'll know it. No and heart goodbye. ever beat as black as my own. Goodbye. Come closer, and I'll let you hear it. Oh, this will is a good likeness. <laughs> God damn it. Your weaknesses feed me. Please continue to fail. But I didn't fail. You know, fuck you, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hit on the secretary. Hey, how you doing? You wanna, wanna catch up movie sometime? Hey, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I bet you read a lot too. Print is dead. <laughs> Jesus, Egon just shit, bruh. He didn't even have to do anything, and Janine still fell for. Her. <laughs> there's that house you got. Yeah, where's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? He's around. If I wait, he'll show up. The fuck is she wearing? Uh, a colander, the same thing that Lew so that they had on Lewis's head. Oh yeah. Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. So you know what this means? It means this this damn, damn thing, thing doesn't, doesn't work. I'm glad we were thinking of the same thing. Well, of course. I'm aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night. Just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That gentleman was all me. And I can assure Look, you. Look, everyone, it's Dickless. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Janine. <laughs> You're first class to look at. <laughs> by the way, there's a dude up here. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. It's his brother! Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, it's Brian Doyle know. Murray! I think so. But I'm worried about the exhibit. You know the funny Are thing about that? 
Uh, Ryan Doyle was actually in a comedy troupe, and a and and Bill was just was just kind of tag. Hold on. Bill was just kind of tagged along that day, and they're like, "Hey, Bill, you want to come up here?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." He tried it, and he winded up being better than better than Brian. It's only 10:23, and it's only 10 minutes 23 seconds. Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Brock around here? Oh, have I called? Okay, guy. Well, well, we'll probably have to call it here. We'll we'll sum up the cutscene when you come back. Uh, ow. Jesus. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, tune in next time when we uh, don't have to deal with uh, creepy ass state of no more. Or Walter Prick. No, we have to deal with him. Uh, this is just the beginning. No!